Where did you get this information? Julian Giroux. Yes? We need to talk. What are you doing here? None of your business. You see the sign on the door, detective? You have no right barging in here like this. With every life after this crap you printed. You want to talk content? Make an appointment at the press. Don't harass me here at my place of business. That's fine. We don't have to talk about it here. We'll talk about it down at the station. Fine. You want to talk business? Let's talk. Alone. I'm sure. Uh, Ava, would you mind giving us a few minutes, please? Of course. I'll be in my office. Well, 100 bucks, she circles back in in 30 seconds to listen in. We better make this good. This information on Nakamura was for department eyes only. Well, I don't know what to tell you, detective. I'm a newsman. Where did you get your story? Yeah, a newsman who doesn't reveal his sources. You're messing with a major investigation. You get that, right? In addition to threatening a man's life. Well, I don't really see it that way. No. Nakamura was almost killed. Now he's recovering in secret. He's not going to talk to anybody but me. But that's not going to happen unless he gets his immunity deal, which means we have to get the guy to Port Charles in one piece. Look, a story like this sells newspapers. And in this day and age, when everybody's proclaiming that print is dead, so that's it? It's just business? Yeah, pretty much. Or is it to make sure that your sister knows everything about our investigation? Excuse me? Look, it's no secret that Ava Jerome and Silas Clay are my main suspects. Now, if you're doing this to help her cover her tracks... <laughs> you only knew. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, my sister and I, we, um, we're barely speaking right now, so... It's funny, because I just uh, saw you guys together. Yeah, that was a work, not of our own choosing. So what are you trying to say? You wouldn't mind watching her hang? She were guilty? Hell, I'd buy the popcorn. Might even uh, benefit me. How so? Well, I've had my suspicions as of late that uh, Ava's turned against me. Now, let's just say hypothetically that if you were to take her out of commission, all my worries would be over. Well, if that's how you feel, then help me salvage this investigation. Nakamura's almost here. To convict Ava, or Silas, or both, I need the guy to stay alive. Now, how am I supposed to help you do that? You ready for your next exclusive? An exclusive, huh? All right. I'm a practical man. What do you got for me? Nakamura's going to be staying at the old brownstone on Elm Street. Here's the address. You want me to print the location of the guy's safe house? Now who's in danger in his life? It's not the real location. This way, somebody is trying to finish the guy off, and they're going the wrong way. So, we got a deal? No, we don't. Not printing this. Why not? I run an honest-to-goodness newspaper, detective. You're with headlines like these? Yeah, well, well, you know, it gets people reading, but... My content is always on the up and up, and I'm not going to jeopardize the PCP's integrity by running a false story. What if there was something in it for you? An exclusive interview with uh, Nakamura after he tells us his story. Well, I'll need your reassurance that uh, my reporters will be able to get to him before the story leaks. You have my word. Huh. Well, that's not going to cut it. I'm going to need to know where you're really going to be holding him. Mm. No, no way. Well, that's the deal, detective. Take it or leave it. We're staying at the Metro Court, room 617. This stays between us. I promise you, nobody's going to hear this from me. Thanks for the pie. Hey. How'd it go? Uh, Julian really came through. Huh. Told you. And we, uh, we staged the whole confrontation. I mean, your guy even had me going for a while. And Ava was listening. Well, I can't be sure, but I mean, if she was, she's got all the information she needs. So, shouldn't be long before her next move. Good. We'll be ready for her. <laughs>